Hello, I'm Michael Burns. This is the Mopco Improv Theater, and this is the first of a series of videos on uh, advanced improv techniques. And here's the first thing I really need you to know. Improv doesn't get advanced. The great stuff is about the basics. Today we're going to watch a scene improvised by two of my favorite improvisers, Kat Coppett, who's my business partner and spouse, and uh, Jennifer Lavenhar, who works with us at the Mopco in a number of capacities, including improviser. They're both masters at their craft. I want to underscore how simple the work in this scene is. Let's take a look. relationship is north and south. It's a very abstract audience tonight. So watch, the repetition begins immediately. Cat moves a chair, Jen goes for a chair. Cat gets a table, it's more repetition. Color commentary, the table weighs about 75 <laughs> We've been sitting here for like 25 minutes. I know. I know. I don't understand what's happened to service these days. It just, it's relax. I am relaxed. No, yeah, I wasn't relaxed. That's not relaxed. <laughs> I, what is so great about being relaxed? So by this point in the scene, these improvisers have taken north and south, they've repeated each other, they've been relaxed, and repeated some more, and they've built this complex relationship between these two sisters. There's deep history, there's deep meaning, just because they're paying attention. Really? <laughs> you flew all the way up here, and invited me out to lunch with no agenda other than just catching up. That's right. That's bullshit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There's that foul mouth of yours. <laughs> Bless your heart. Sabrina, I'm not selling the house. I'm staying in the house. No, of course you are. Of course you are. Because you have every right to that house. Yes, that's right. That's right. I have every right to that house. house. I grew up in that house. Yes, you did. I took care of mom in that house. No, I'm no, keeping no. the house. No. Well, no, what? <laughs> oh, let's not fight. <laughs> let's get some dessert. I would be happy to get dessert if someone in this place would give us Stop. some service. Stop banging. 
Sweetie, could you get us two desserts, please? Oh, sure, honey, I'll get you. Well, Thank well, we got pie. Oh, well, we would love pie. Pie would be great, and some coffee. Just pie. Black. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were going to make coffee. Awesome. And we're going to make pie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Did they just say they're going to make pie? <laughs> pie doesn't make itself. I don't know. <laughs> So now two really interesting things happen in this scene. One, repetition becomes reincorporation. Watch how they bring things from the very first moments of the scene back again. And two, it's as though the improvisers are inviting each other in to find where the characters change. This is a critical part of a satisfying scene. Somebody or something has to change. Watch how they look for it together. in that house. You're only staying there to spite the rest of the family. And you've got to stop doing this to yourself, sweetheart. I, <laughs> I think you believe that. You think I would live my whole life being miserable just to spite you. Carol, it's not just me. And everybody in the family knows it. Are you telling me you really don't think so? You really don't in your heart of hearts see that? I think it is stunning that you think a person would live their entire life, day after day, just to make other people unhappy, just to hold in their little palm a grudge for 150 years. Well, honey, what else is there? <laughs> I, I am sorry if it cracks your vision of the world, but I am very happy. I am very happy living alone. I am very happy being childless. I am very happy having a job what? as a biology professor? What? It's crazy. You should come and stay with me. Oh, I, I don't think that would go over very well. <laughs> I, I think maybe I'm not the one who's living a life that isn't true, that is making me unhappy. I think maybe you're the one who needs a change. Maybe you didn't just fly all the way up here to tell me to change my life. Did you want chicory? Do you want chicory? No. No? Okay. Thank you. Oh. That's a new face. All right, listen. Listen. You can't tell anybody else in the family. Right? It's horrible down there. They're all crazy people. And they're, they lie and they cheat and they, they smile right at your face while they're scratching your eyes out from behind. I don't even know what that means, but that's what they do. It's very, it's very descriptive language. You people are very good at that. That's right. And, and it's just, I, I don't know what I'm doing down there. It's just like inertia. That's a thing, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah.
appreciate that, Sabrina, and I have also admired you. Really? <laughs> yes, I have. You have raised three beautiful boys. You have put up with that slimy cheat of a husband, and I know it took a lot of strength to leave him and kick him out after that third affair. <laughs> <laughs> and I appreciate you coming all of this way to have this conversation with me. I know it took a lot of courage. And I would be very, very honored to have you as my housekeeper. Well, if there's one thing this family has, it's courage, isn't it? Amen, sister. I know a place where we could get some real coffee and a donut in like 35 seconds. Yeah, let's get out of this podunk place. And see. So let's review. Did you hear the invitations back and forth? I thought Jen was going to sort of convince Kat, or at least Jen's character was going to convince Kat's character to be the change, changed person. But in fact, Kat made this beautiful offer. Oh, that's a new face. And it let Jen, boom, completely transform. And she ends up uh, apparently moving up north to live with her northern sister. You never know what's going to happen, but what I do know is that if the actors really pay attention to each other, often what happens is kind of magical. In the scene that we just looked at, the actors took their time. They yes-handed the offer from the audience in a big way. Relationship, north and south. They used repetition, physical repetition, verbal repetition. That repetition became reincorporation when they brought things back from the beginning of the scene. They paid attention to each other, hugely, little things, big things. They listened with their whole bodies. And they found the change, which made it satisfying for all of us. And uh, they were relaxed about it. I guarantee you, with all the funny things that were said, these improvisers were just saying what was obvious in the moment. Now, it's true, they're gifted improvisers. Kat is incredibly good at sensing the strengths of her partner and offering those setup lines. And Jen, with a real gift for character, can knock him out of the park when she gets a setup line. That's why you may have heard Jen with several kind of major laugh lines during the course of the scene. But it's never one improviser that provides that. It's the relationship, it's the space between the two of them, it's listening to each other. It's all basic. That's what inv advanced improv is. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Michael Burns from the Mopco Improv Theater. Please hit like, share, do all those things for us, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have shows every Friday and Saturday night. We stream a lot of them. We do classes here at the theater. Some of those are virtual as well. Be in touch. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks again. Bye-bye.